everybody. It's Thrifty Shopper here, and I'm here with my 3D collaboration. Uh, this is a flower project, um, and I came with my three-dimensional project. <laughs> I made a flat box that pops up and that you can, you know, mail to your friend. It's flat, so it's kind of three-dimensional when you fold it up. And I just thought it was really cute. And it's kind of similar to the box that I made before. Only I have I have uh, chosen to cut the windows away and add a center window here. And um, it just gives you some three, dimension, three dimensions there. Um, and I've gone ahead and uh, used my panels of paper. And I'm bringing to you the... Um... Okay, so this is the other box. It's just a little bit thinner. And... You can tell it's just a little bit thinner and when you fold it down you can put it in an envelope that's more like square and ship it off to your friend um, and you might want want to put this more like straight so it's not you know hanging out there um, but I hope you guys liked my project this is the floral three dimension collaboration with Leslie Bromfield all right, so we're going to have a piece of paper that measures 10 and 1 fourth by 8 and a half. This is going to be flat mail. So it's going to make our box um, the same kind of look, but it's a little bit thinner of a box. And it's going to end up being um, something you can flatten and make flat mail out of. All right, so we have our 8, our 10 and a quarter by eight and a half and on the t and I'm gonna go to my scoreboard here so that's the piece of paper we're gonna cut first and when we have this size we're gonna go ahead and score it okay on the ten and a quarter inch side we're gonna score at one and a half all right so one and a half would be right here. And then we'll do uh, one and three fourths. So one and three fourths is right there. Um, four and three fourths right there. Uh, five, six and a half. Six and three fourths, nine and three fourths. I think that's nine and three fourths. Right here. And then ten. Nine and three fourths. I think I missed nine and three fourths. And ten. Okay, then we move it to the eight and a half inch side. And on the eight and a half inch side, we're going to do a quarter, a half, then we're going to do. Okay, I'm sorry. On the eight and a half inch side, we're going to do a quarter. Um, one and three fourths. Let me put my glasses on so I can see. <laughs> it's too far away. Okay, yeah, I can definitely see now. <laughs> one and three fourths. Four. Um, so I've kind of pre-scored this. I think I'm going to go this way because I've already scored it and I don't want to mess up. So we got a uh, one fourth, uh, one and three fourths. Then we're going to do the four, four and one fourth, four and a half, and four and three fourths. Okay, and then we're going to do six and three fourths. And eight and a one fourth. And 
I think I missed five and three fours. So let's do that again. <laughs> okay. Do -do -do -do. Okay. On your a and a half inch side, we're gonna do a quarter. We're gonna go to one and three fourths. We're gonna do four, four and a quarter, four and a half, four and three fourths. That's making our awning and counter. Uh, five and three fourths. And then we wanna do uh, six and three fourths. And then eight and a quarter. And that's gonna give in our tab there. All right, and then we're just gonna fold, fold. This makes our box. So you could do a box here. Um, you want to do a box. It's just, do you want to make it a closable box or a flat nail box? So you're going to glue your tab here to this side, this flap here. All right. And then you can cut these off. These are going to be your lids and, you know, the, the pockets or whatever. So it's going to look like this. You're gonna have a flap, flap, and a lid. And you're gonna have a little bit of a lip here that would fold down, and that's gonna be your closure. Now you can cut this totally off on the top and the bottom, the top and the bottom. And when you fold it, it's gonna look like um, a box, but it's gonna be something that will fold over like that. And you can decorate it up if it's not any, um, three-dimensional type things you can mail it flat all right and I'll show you my final project uh, you're gonna cut the windows like we did last time so you're gonna have it open up just like that this is the bottom counter and this is gonna be the awning that opens up and you can put acetate in there or you can leave it open and just kind of put some flowers or sentiments whatever you want to pop out the window there um, and I'll be back with my final project oh I also wanted to go over the little inside insert so once you get your box completed you're gonna it's gonna be okay it's it's okay but you could add a inside pocket or inside flap just like that, so you have like another window. So you'll have an inside kind of dimensional window um, that you'd be able to see through. So you'd see this, this, and then the back window. And so you could do like three dimensional things. Um, a little bit more if you wanted to add this. So this is gonna be four by five. On the four inch side, you're gonna score at a quarter inch, a half inch, three and a half inches and three and a quarter inches and then you're going to turn it to the five inch side and on that side you're going to do one square at one square at two square at two and a quarter two and a half and two and three fourths that'll give you your window there to cut you're going to have a quarter inch here twice and you're going to fold one over that's going to glue to the side of the box on both sides all right and then we can see the little h there upside down H, I guess, <laughs> for our window. All right, like I said, I'm gonna come back. Um, hopefully you can screenshot this. I made a little boo-boo here, uh, but this is the flat mail box. So you could send flat mail to your friend and uh, they would enjoy so it. So this is the three-dimensional flower collaboration. I've got some vellum here with a sticker that says, hello, lovely. I've put the garden party, backed it with some glitter cardstock. I've made some really cute paper pieced um, roses with some floral uh, greenery there. And then I've got my little uh, My Favorite Things bunny that I've used my alcohol markers on. And I've just made this box to where it can fold down. Uh, but I did make the box um, in the tutorial where you can keep the lid and it will close. It's just a thinner box. Um, than the one that I made before. I'll show you the difference. I'm gonna go over the um, 
the panels here on they're a little bit different um, so let's see here I think I cut some of the paper uh, I started off with this box and then when I um, fooled around with it to make this box I actually ended up cutting off the the lid and the bottom lid and when I folded it over I was like it could be flat mail so it really was kind of cool um, I, I I thought it would be great to show you guys how to make that all right so some of this stuff is just paper that I wanted to try all right so that's the awning mat awning inside inside mat hmm. not sure which one that one is inside mat must be that one okay these are the lids probably and if you wanted to do the shaker embellishment for the window of the other box I think this window is pretty similar so you could use that for the sh if you wanted to do a shaker inside there all right so we've got the inside mats for the sides this is top lid if you wanted to do a lid um, okay so the awning that's if you wanted to keep the awning which I cut mine away for this one um, is gonna be two and seven eighths by one and one eight um, and then you're gonna score it the one eighth inch side that'll let let you do the fold over and then this is the inside of it and that's gonna be two and five eighths by one this is the top mat okay so the mat is three and three eighths by seven eighths and three and three fourths by three and one eighths okay this is if you wanted the top lid mat um, that's one and three eighths by three and three eighths and the inside mat to that would be the one and one eighths by three and one eighths. Okay. We've kind of already gone over these, but if you wanted to screenshot that and try to see it, this is the um, shaker bit. I already showed you that. Okay, this is the inside mat and the, um, so I believe that's the below part here, three and three eighths by two and the inside is three and one eighths by one and three fourths. And then the side here is one and three eighths by four and seven eighths and one and one eighth by four and five eighths. And you'll do one for each side. And if you're gonna do the side, the back, you know, you'll need all of these to be two. Um, like I said, I cut the top and the bottom off and I put an extra insert in um, so you could have like three layers of different things inside that window there i hope you guys enjoyed this project i hope you guys make it and like subscribe and i've got another collaboration coming up pretty soon that'll be pretty interesting uh i'm excited about it you guys have a great rest of the day like subscribe bye now all right so this is what it looks like you're just gonna glue that flap it's the same as the one that we're gonna attach to this you're gonna glue it into the inside and then it's gonna glue onto the, the flap here as well. So when you close it all up, you'll have the box. Okay, and I, like I said, cut the top and the bottom off to just make it a flat piece of mail. And then I ended up cutting these flaps off so we could see more inside the windows. So here's mine. I think it turned out so cute. All right, so this is the inside of the box where I've uh, showed you some vellum that I've put some um, of my little roses there. And I'm just showing you how they kind of like fit inside there and that's gonna make the box. You guys have a great rest of the day. Bye now.